about today I'm going to be showing you how to do what is one of my favorite things to do is two by two calculations and we're going to be dealing with several examples and I hope you can learn from me as we go through these so I want you to write these ones down and we're going to take each example step by step so first of all I want you to write down these calculations we're going to be working with we're going to be doing 29 times 48 okay 29 times 48 and we'll do 92 times 14 next 61 times 87 we're going to do 52 times 61 and 16 times 71 and then finally we're going to do 87 times 45 so that should be written down on paper and we're going to be working with these so you can refer back to your paper as we continue on First, let's go to the example of 29 times 48. Now, what you want to do, you want to start with the left quadrant and think that 2 times 4 is 8. And you can just think right now, don't write it down, just think 8 is your number. So, all numbers that you'll be working with from this point on, you'll add to the number 8. Now, you're going to do your arch. The arch is going to be the numbers on the outside and the numbers on the inside. Okay, the outside arch is 16, inside is 36, okay? So, of course, 16 and 36 is 52. So, what you're going to do now is you're going to add that 5 of 52 to the 8, okay? So, of course, that's going to be a 13, and a 2 is left over. So, it's going to be 1, 3, 2, and then you have to deal with the uh, 9 times 8, it's 72, so they're going to add the 7 to that 2. So now you've got 1, 3, 9, and the 2 is left over. So the answer is going to be 1,392. Okay, write that down. That's the answer. Next one, we're going to go to 92 times 14. Now you know that the number that you're going to be dealing with is going to be a 9. So just think 9, say 3 times, 9, 9, 9. You got it. Your arch is going to be 36 plus 2 is 38. So you had a 9 and you got a 3, so that's going to be a 12. So it's 1, 2, and 8. Okay? And then you've got 2 times 4 is 8, so it's going to be 1288 is your answer. 1288. Next one we're going to do is the 61 times 87. Again, you quickly say in your mind, 6 times 8, 48, so you got that in your mind, 4,800, or 48, you'll be adding to that number. Your arch will be 6 times 7 is 42, 1 times 8 is 8, so 42 and 8 is 50, and when you have a 50, you have a 0, which you'll either be covering or attaching the number next to it, okay? So you have 48 and 5, that's going to be 53, and a 0, and then you've got 1 times 7, and that's 7, okay? So it's going to be 5,307 is your answer. Next one is going to be 52 times 61. Now, we all know that when you have anything that is equal to, or let's put this way, excuse me, anything that is even, and it's going to be um, times 5, it's going to be half, okay? So you're going to be doing 30, but just think of, think of 3. We not said 30 because the number is 30, and that's 0, that's next to the 3, will be covered up with whatever comes next. The first number 3 will never change. Okay? So, you have a 3, or 30, or you want to do. You never, you never change that 3, you cover the 0. And then your arch is going to be 5 and 12 is 17. So it's going to be 3, 1, 7, and then 2. It's easy to do. So whenever I see ones, you know, I get kind of a sense of ease because I know that it's going to be an easy calculation because anything times one will never change, okay? So it's easy to do. Next one is going to be an example of a number that has two numbers that have a number one on either side. Okay, 16 times 71. This time you know it's 43 because 6 times 7 is 42 plus the 1 is 43. And the outside is a 7, okay? So you take the 4 and add to the 7 is 11. So it's 1, 1, 3. 
six. Simple to do, all right? That, that went too fast. You took the 43, you took the seven, you add the four, it's one, one, three, and then the six comes up to the outside, okay? Easy to do, 1,136. Okay, so the last one we have here is going to be 87 times 45. And if you've seen some of my videos in the past, you know that when you have a 45, you always make it to a 90, and you take that one number and you cut it in half. But when it's an odd number, like, you know, 7, you're going to have a 0.5 or a 5. So it's easy just to do the simple algorithm. So this time you're going to say 8 times 4 is 32. Just say 32. 132, whatever you want to say, but 32 is going to be your number that you're going to be adding to. Okay, so let's do your arch this time. You've got 8 times 5, you have 40, and then you've got 7 times 4 is going to be 28, so that's going to be 68. All right, so we have 32, right? Okay, so 32 plus 6 is, is, is 8, okay? So it's going to be 3, 8, 8, but now you've got the 7 times 5 is 30, so you're going to be adding a 3 to the 88. Okay? The, the 1, 3 on the, on the, um, in the start will never change. So, of course, if you if you add a 3 to 88, it's, it's 91, right? Okay, so now it's 3, 9, 1, 5, and you're done. 3, 9, 1, 5 is the answer. So, you see, these are not hard to do. If you take the time and you really kind of look at the features of what you're doing, you'll find that they're pretty simple to do. They're very basic, they're very simple, and they won't cause you a lot of stress. In fact, they'll give you a sense of empowerment because you're having a sense of um, being connected to the numbers. So when you see numbers, you're not going to be afraid. A lot of times when people see numbers like you know nines and sevens and sixes, they get over and more afraid because they don't understand. But now we can see that it's just a matter of manipulating numbers, working with numbers, and making them your friends, okay? So take this as a reason to practice, to get better, to improve yourself, because I really feel that anyone, everyone should know how to do two by two calculations quickly, either on paper or in their head, especially, uh, you know, without paper. So thank you for watching. And as always, until next time, you have a great day.